welcome, uh, Mr. Tanasa Dijipio, to our Global Anna Summit. I have only one question, and uh, hope uh, you will you will say something that we'll learn from that. Okay. How do you see uh, business as an entrepreneur, and how do you want to transfer the wealth that you own to your family members? Okay, so basically, uh, the business will focus on three sectors. One is media. Media is uh, from the traditional media, free to air television, and then the pay TV from traditional pay TV, satellite pay TV, IP TV, broadband, high speed internet, and OTT, and then also to cover digital also. Digital is can be uh, many things, uh, including e-commerce. Yeah, we will be there, and then uh, of course we will be in the content, content production from long form to channel to short form for social media. Uh, that is basically the vision, and uh, if we enter into the digital space, it's going to be globally, of course. Uh, number two, we want to expand our financial services to digitize the product, uh, not to focus on the conventional financial services, so from the banking part, uh, life insurance, general insurance, consumer finance, and also securities, and asset management. And last but not least, the third part of the sector is uh, property and hospitality. So we do resort, big resort in Bali, big resort in Bogor, close to uh, Jakarta, about one hour, and we, we are going to build also a big development there, which is related to our media, uh, lifestyle entertainment, and we have also some office building, of course, and some hotels. Uh, the rest is more loose investment. So as when it comes an opportunity, then I may make the investment. So this is basically the future of the of the group that I want to to focus on. Mm -hmm. Then we need to become at least a global player, at least in the Asia Pacific region, because sixty percent of the world population is in Asia, mm -hmm. and it's also growing faster today. And with regards to the transfer of this or handover to my family members, to my kids, uh, we have five children, four daughters, one son. So basically, the way we structure it, uh, you know, the core uh, holding of the group, which is the controlling majority stick, uh, 51 percent, has to be held in a trust. And every member in the family will have basically their own portfolio, so they don't, uh, uh, they have their own basically assignment separately, and they own basically together all this asset, and they cannot sell. So how they make their uh, income is from the dividend, from this uh, core holding. So I just want to preserve the, the legacy. It's very important, otherwise it's going to be falling apart. Yes. Because I don't know how last I can, you know, uh, survive with my wife, yeah. But basically, if possible, this I can maintain the legacy of the MNC Group, uh, owned by uh, our family. And then the rest of the holding is a bit loose, you know. They can sell for them to grow their, their own business uh, uh, personally, but they cannot grow the business uh, in which the group is already within that mm -hmm. sector. Mm -hmm. So they cannot be in the media, they cannot be in the uh, resort, yeah, or yeah, it has to be something new. It's okay. So this is the two things. So the, I will preserve the interest, the legacy, by uh, making the you know 51 percent ownership held in a trust, mm -hmm. which they can they cannot touch. I mean, they cannot sell, but they can enjoy from the mm -hmm. dividend Dividends. payout, and the rest they can they can so do whatever they want. Basically, they will become income beneficiaries, and yeah. they will hold your legacy, yes, MNC yes, Group, yes. and your father. Exactly. The next yeah. So I have I've planned this. So they can have their own business is fine, no problem. But it cannot compete with the, the with family the business. business. Exactly. Yeah. Thank you very much. Okay. It was very valuable information for us. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.